we have a data set. When I click on variable view here, I can see the names of the variables. I have 49 variables. We want to convert this data set into a format that is readable by M+. If you click on data view, you, you'll see that there are some missing values for some variables. The first point is that M plus cannot read string variables. So make sure you delete your string variables and we just need to have numeric variables. Uh, let me check. All of the variables here are numeric. So we can move on. Another point about M plus is that your variable names, uh, these names, it's best if they are uh, eight characters or shorter. It's possible to have variable names that are longer than eight characters, but it, but it's way easier to work with eight characters in M plus. Here, variable names seem to have eight characters or less. The first thing to do is to handle missing values. And for that, click on transform, recode into same variables and select all of your variables, send them to this box and click on old and new values. Here, choose system or user missing and define a missing value. Uh, I prefer uh, minus 999. Now this can be any number, but this value should not be in your data set. It should be a unique value. And usually uh, minus values are better because usually we don't have them in our data, but you can choose any values plus 999 or minus nine, minus 99. So choose a number here and click on add, then continue and then okay. You'll see that your missing values, which are blank, are replaced by the number that you defined, minus 999. But SPSS doesn't know that this is uh, your missing value indicator. So you, ha you, you have to tell SPSS. Click on variable view under the missing column. Click on none for one of your variables. Uh, I, I click on none for variable one. And here I enter minus 999. Okay. And then you can uh, copy this and paste it for all your other variables. Now, SPSS knows that minus 999 is actually indicating a, a missing value. Okay. Click on file save as, and uh, let's save the file in this format, tap delimited. Uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, you can change the name, but let's keep it M1, which is the original name of this piece of file, save. Okay, now we need to open Excel and do something in Excel. In Excel, Open the file that you just created. And this is the, the file that we created with the suffix DAT. Uh, click on next, next and finish. Okay, now this is the tap delimited data file that you created. Uh, you will notice that the first row contains the variable names coming from SPSS. And we don't want this here. M plus cannot work with variable names. So we need to just deal at the first row. And after that, click on save. Now you can close the data set in Excel. Okay, before we go to M plus, we need to take our variable names with us from SPSS. So we have 49 variables and we need to take these variable names and paste it in M plus input file. The easiest way to do that is to click on utilities, variables. And in this section, 
select all of your, your variables. Make sure you select all of them and then click on paste. A syntax file opens and you, you will see that all of the variable names are here. So you just need to copy them. In M plus, enter the name of your tab delimited file, which is M1. And you need to use this suffix dot DAT. Also tell M plus about your missing data indicator. Then paste the names here. However, note that in M plus input file, each line should be shorter than 90 characters. And it seems to me that uh, these lines are longer than 90 characters. So let's break them. The next step is to make sure that you have done it correctly. For that, you can check the descriptive statistics related to some of your variables. Let's choose one of the variables, uh, the last variable and just type a use variable, use v equals the name of your variable. That's it. And click on run. Okay. Uh, the first thing to check is your uh, sample size. Now M plus is telling you that data set contains cases with missing on all variables, three cases. These cases were not included in the analysis. So three cases were excluded and the number of observations included in this analysis is 197. So together M plus is saying that your sample size is 200 and you have to compare it with your species data set. Both of them should have the same sample size. And let's check species sample size, uh, click on data view, and you'll see that the sample size is 200 in a species as well. Uh, univariate sample statistics here. Uh, M plus is giving you some descriptive statistics related to the variable that you chose. It says that 197 uh, participants had non-missing values for this variable. And this is the mean this is the variance for this variable in your sample. And particularly important are also minimum and maximum values, one and six. I suggest comparing these values with the descriptive statistics for this variable in SPSS. In SPSS, click on analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives, and find the variable, it was the last variable. Send it to this box, click on options. And uh, we don't need a standard deviation, we need variance and uh, minimum, maximum, and mean. Continue, okay. So let's compare these values with the descriptive information in M plus. Okay, uh, the sample size is 197, 197, the mean is 3.147. The mean is in species also 3.147. And then uh, minimum, maximum, 1.6. 1.6. The variance in SPSS is 1.147, but in M plus is 1.141. There are usually, especially if your sample size is not very large, usually there are slight differences in variances in SPSS and M plus. So as far as the, the everything else matches, like a, a mean, minimum, maximum, they're exactly the same. And if there's a slight difference, very, very small difference in variance between SPSS and uh, M plus, that's fine because uh, the two use different formula for calculating variances and covariances.